So if I were to go for a smoothing pass, if I were just to smooth this out a little bit to see how I was and kind of, kind of blend the rough spots in, um, but without, without hitting it hard, then I would go to another die that we call the rubber die. Now if you take a look, <clears throat> I've smoothed out this area so it's, it's more uh, applicable for a fit. Now that roughing die is very aggressive. The rubber die is not as aggressive. Now you can do stretching with the rubber die and I'll show you that in a minute. I wanted to show you how nicely this can be done with a die that doesn't leave hammer marks but just smooths it out. There are applications where you want to rough something in a hurry and then go back and smooth it and adjust it. If you want to do a little bit more stretching, if you're, if you're going for a final fit or, or a pretty good fit on the buck and you want to generate a little bit more stretch, then you do it with the rubber die. It's not as aggressive and you're not going to that final sort of fit that you are with the, with the steel on steel or the plastic planishing set, which is really ideal. Now I'll show you a little bit of stretching, stretching only with the rubber die, but not very aggressively. Now if you'll notice the, the rubber die isn't nearly as aggressive if you wanted to raise a low crown fairly rapidly or to smooth something out you, you, you could choose to use that, that rubber die. It's a nice, a nice little intermediate. 